You know something? I was looking around the back shop today, and I realized that all four of these motorcycles in here that I'm working on have electronic ignition. You'll see I got a gold wing. Duh, that's got electronic ignition. Although, you know, it's the early ones that didn't point something. But then there's this wonderful Benelli SEI six cylinder that has a failed Bosch electronic ignition. <clears throat> Luckily, there's a new modern solid state electronic ignition system available to replace this. This bike's electronic ignition died 30 years ago, which is why this bike is in such fabulous shape with only 5,300 miles on it. And you know what? Until this very time, there was no alternative to the crappy stock electronic ignition. And I looked around and I realized Every bike in the back room has electronic ignition, including the two pre-1970 Triumphs. And now, although this Goldwing, this Goldwing over here, that doesn't surprise you that it has electronic ignition. But this, the Triumph, ooh, that's ugly. And this Triumph, it would surprise you. And you say, no, they've had boyers, they had all kinds of electronic ignitions. Yeah, and you know what, I tried them all. And they, they were great when they were great, until they sucked. And you know what, they always sucked at the worst time. And everybody tells you, get this, get that. And you know what, screw it. What bike has always fired up, no matter what, in your lifetime? The Honda Z50, right? You want to know why? Extremely simple, reliable, and dependable flywheel magneto. And then I found this product from Electric World, Electrex World, made in the EEC, made in the UK. That label will probably Brexit itself off of there soon. And what it consists of Your regular, literal, you know, rotating Honda Z50 style magnet. Three stator coils and a pickup. Modern, new, easy, simple. Actually, not modern but reliable, but adapted to right where your stator goes. It's great. And you know what? That's ignition. It's 12 volt DC charging. And it also has AC lighting. It has everything. It's like 400 bucks and it works great. We put it on this. And you spin on it the wrong way and it fires right up and idle perfectly the first time after we timed it. And it was really, you know what? It was really amazing. And I, I just realized that there's more great stuff in the past five years. Amel Premier carburetors, $400 flywheel charging system magnetos. <clears throat> there's more great stuff now to make these bikes work than there ever were, than there ever were. It's absolutely amazing. Every bike, including my old bikes in this room, have modern electronic ignition. Electric swirl. This is not a commercial for them. This is merely information. Thanks, Cycle Adam.